The Phillips Memorial Library's primary search tool is going to look different starting this spring. This video will highlight some of the changes you'll see. You'll find the search box in the same place on the library homepage. Type your search term into the search box and press enter. The default search is set to keyword, but you can use the drop down menu to search for a title, author, subject, or call number. When you do a search, you'll land on a page that looks like this. Click on the title to view more information about an item, including the call number if it is a book available in print. Expanding the description menu allows you to see more information about the item, including the publisher, language, table of contents, and Library of Congress subject headings. If the item is not available at PC, click on Request Item to view options for gaining access. The library provides access to thousands of ebooks through the search tool as well. Click on the Access Online or View Ebook buttons to explore the content. The most striking feature of this new search tool is the ability to search for articles in addition to books. Use the article facet on the left hand side of the screen to filter for this content type. You can click on an article's title to view more information about it or simply click the Access Online button to view it. In most cases, when you click Access Online for an article, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Here, you can access the full text of the article or perform a variety of other functions, including citing it, emailing it, or printing it. The system is currently configured to pull articles from Academic Search Complete, a large general database. If you'd like to add additional databases to your search or refine it in other ways, click on the Advanced Search button. With questions about advanced searching, please contact a librarian. There are other ways to search as well. For example, if you have a citation and need to search for a journal title, the Publication Finder is located below the databases list on the library homepage. Enter a journal title or ISSN in the search box. The points of access for the journal will be listed in the results. Be sure to click on the journal title rather than the collection or database name to get access. If the library doesn't have access to the journal you are seeking, you can click on the interlibrary loan request form to submit a request. Once you're in the journal, you can search for specific content or browse the journal by volume. As you can see, this new search interface is fairly easy to use and has several improved features. If you'd like to learn more about it or schedule a research consultation, please don't hesitate to contact us.